Hey, what's up guys, this is DPC, aka the Programming Cuber, and today I have another unboxing from thecubicle.us. So it's actually been a while since I've done one of these raw unboxings, I guess you could say. Uh, recently I've just been doing these unboxings with like cinematography and it's more like first impressions and a voiceover, but today I'm gonna come straight at you with a normal old unboxing, because some of you actually really like that. Um, so I actually tore in just to check out what's in there and I'm so excited for these. Uh, so first we have the Cubicle Lab's new DNM uh, lubrication, I don't know if you can see that, yeah, DNM 37. Uh, I've heard so much about this and I'm really excited that they just released it now and I can try it out. So I will definitely be checking that out. And here we have two cards. So one of them is the new card from GAN, as you can see. Um, it's like their GAN cube and it comes with the Air Ultimate. And I believe this number is the number of the Air that I received. So. And then here is a brand new cubicle business card. It's black now, nice and sleek. And they have the cubicle lab stuff as well on there now, which they didn't have before. And then finally we have this, which is the Gans Air UM. And this is a collaboration, if you guys didn't know, between the cubicle and GAN. And uh, basically, and this is the cubicle edition, obviously, because the cubicle sent it to me. Huge thanks to them, by the way. I mean, this is crazy. I'm so excited. Um, and yeah, so this is the new UM. It's the Ganser Ultimate, except it has magnets, as you can tell by the M. And it comes with a, a whole ton of things. So let's just get straight into this. Oh my goodness, I'm really excited right now. <laughs> uh, so these are one set of GES. This is like the standard ones, and these are the cool color ones, which are um, a bit lighter, I believe, and there's a different tensioning tool in here than there is in here. And then, of course, we have Gan's signature gigantic pamphlet with like every single OLL and a lot of fun stuff like that. So uh, that's pretty cool. And then, of course, we have the cube. I just got a new camera. I'm kind of getting used to it right now. But, uh, yeah, we're just gonna tear into this plastic wrap. And here it is. Wow, that is incredibly light. Like, you don't imagine magnetic cubes being super light considering, you know, they have magnets in them, but that is so light. Oh my goodness, I'm really surprised. And let's try first turns. Wow, that is incredible, actually. That's really good. I know Cubix was mentioning in his video that it's one of the best cubes you'll feel out of the box, and I completely agree. I mean, it is definitely one of the best cubes I've ever felt myself out of, out of the box. Better than even like my Volcam or my GTSM or any of those cubes that I've gotten. I mean, this is just crazy fast. It's pretty ridiculous. <laughs> and yeah, overall, I'm super impressed with this cube already. I mean, wow. <laughs> That it is pretty crazy to be honest. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I'm kind of speechless right now. I mean, it feels so good and it's it's really incredible. I don't know if you can actually hear the sound of the cube because my microphone is facing away uh, from the cube, so I'm just gonna bring it up here. And yeah, as you can hear, the cube kind of has that signature GAN sound. You know, we've all heard that before, that sort of clacky-ish feel, but it's extremely stable. I mean, way more stable than the GAN's air that I have um, with the magnets in there. You can't actually feel the magnets that much right now, but um, I'm sure with some more solving, I'll be able to feel it. Because I know Cubix was saying that it actually gets stronger with solving for some reason and it kind of gets worse but hope that doesn't happen to me because this is a really nice cube uh, currently my main is a magnetic vault that I just got from the cubicle that I actually have yet to release a video on because I didn't make an unboxing of that but uh, I, I will be doing another video where I go over all three of the vaults that I have and kind of compare them but yeah my current main is that and Wow, I mean, I don't know if this will become a main because I've never really, I've only mained a GAN puzzle, uh, GAN's puzzle like once, and I think it was the 357, and I might have uh, had the 356 really briefly as my main, but it's never really stuck as my main for very long. So I don't know if this will be my main just because I'm not really used to that feel, because GAN's is a very distinct type of turning style, but I don't know, it could be because it is feeling really nice right now. Um, the shades are also, extremely good. They're using Fulbright's, which 
Generally, I'm not a huge fan of just because I don't like the fluorescent red. I prefer a regular red, but it looks very good. I like this orange. A lot of times they use a uh, this kind of nasty, like, I, I think it's nasty. It's like a dark red orange, and I don't, really don't like that. This is the same orange that I use pretty much. Yeah, it's the same orange that I use. Uh, it's just the red that's different. Everything else, except the blue, is a little bit lighter, but that's not really that much of a nuisance. But yeah, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what else to say about this. Huge thanks to the cubicle again, because this is just crazy. Oh, I didn't even notice this, actually. That's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's Chris Chan. <laughs> I didn't even realize he was on this. It's a completely random tangent because I just noticed. And yeah, you can see they, they put in everything in there. Someone said this smells like glue. I think Phil says it smells like glue. I'm gonna... It does smell very vaguely like glue. That was kind of weird. I just took it away and smelled the cube. But uh, It does smell kind of like glue. Uh, very faintly though because you only can really tell when you're up close. Other than that, I don't really have too much more to say about this. The performance is, of course, incredible. I mean, corner cutting, everything, it's pretty self-explanatory, I guess you could say. Um, it totally up to par with cubes these days. I'll have to try this out some more, but I'm enjoying the magnets right now. I really like, personally, magnets and cubes. I use the GTSM as my main, and then I got the Vault M, and now that's my main. And this is contending, probably. And I think I'll really enjoy solving this just because the way it is. Uh, let me just do a solve real quick. Hand scramble. And also kind of awkwardly through the viewfinder. Yeah, so it feels a little bit loose, but I don't know how much I want to mess with the tensions. Uh, but other than that, it's a really nice cube. Now I can't really show you much about this DNM lube, obviously, since I would need to lube a cube with it first. But um, I'm gonna try this out. It's supposed to be—it's supposed to be very long-lasting, so I'll probably put it in like maybe my Volgem or something when the lube is getting dry um, or something like that, just to see what it does to it um, and see how long it lasts as well, too. So I'll solve on it a bunch. But yeah, this is supposed to be some really new, exciting water-based lube. It's kind of like Maru, except better. <laughs> um, it's, it's supposed to be a long-lasting version, I guess, of Maru. So, um, yeah. So yeah, that's pretty awesome. I've been really excited about this because I keep hearing about uh, Chris mentioning it, and now it's finally out, so yeah. That's about it. My 20,000 subscriber giveaway is going to be my next video out. Uh, rest assured of that. It will be. <laughs> so it's coming. The 20,000 subscriber giveaway is coming. Uh, I already have the sponsor set and everything, so I just need to release the video on it. So that is going to be next. But I really want to get this video out just because it's so new and fresh, I guess. Um, and yeah, so that's about it. Thanks for watching. And uh, hope you enjoyed this finally another raw unboxing. And I'll see you guys in my next video.